Residential Sales Comparison and Income Approaches, page 56. Application Case Study. Subject Property. The subject of the appraisal assignment is a two-story story colonial style residential dwelling located on a through street in a subdivision. The dwelling contains 2,169 square feet and has four bedrooms and two and a half baths. The intended use of the appraisal report is to assist in facilitation of a mortgage refinance transaction. Thus, all sale terms are assumed to be cash equivalent and sale conditions typical. The subject property features a two-car garage, patio, and a fireplace. Possible comparable data from the subject subdivision. Uh, comp 1 is 629 Logan Avenue, which sold for $279,400 seven weeks ago. Conditions of sale were typical and financing was via a conventional loan with no seller concessions. The dwelling was a similar two-story colonial that had four bedrooms, three baths, and 2,248 square feet of gross living area. The property was located three blocks from the subject on a through, through street and had a two-car garage, deck, and fireplace. Comp 2 is 427 Evergreen Court. Was located two blocks from the subject, but on a cul-de-sac lot. The two-story colonial sold for $310,000. The dwelling had 2,356 square feet, five bedrooms, three full baths, and one half bath. There were no atypical sale conditions. However, the seller paid $3,000 of the buyer's closing costs in the conventional finance transaction one month ago. And in addition to an in-ground pool, the property had a three-car garage, deck, and two fireplaces. Comp 3 is 432... Washington Drive, it sold for $265,000 nine months ago in a tr transaction that was facilitated by seller financing, where the seller paid all of the buyer's costs. Some furnishings were included in the sale. The property was located one block away from the subject on a through street. The dwelling had 1,879 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and was a one and a half story Cape Cod design. Other features included a two car garage and a patio. Comp 4 is 299 Peach Tree Court, was a one and a half story Cape Cod dwelling located on a cul de sac two blocks away from the subject. It sold for $266,900 five months ago via conventional financing with no seller concessions and typical sale conditions. The dwelling had 2,038 square feet, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and a one-car garage, and a deck. Comp 5 is 152 Goodson Drive, sold two weeks ago for $269,000. Financing was by conventional loan, and there were no seller financing concessions or atypical sale conditions. Location was on a through street. 12 blocks from the subject in a different market. The two-story colonial design dwelling had 2,112 square feet, four bedrooms, and three baths. Other features included a two-car garage and a deck. Comp 6 is 861 Cranberry Drive. was located on a through street five blocks from the subject in an adjacent subdivision it sold for two hundred seventy one thousand five hundred dollars one week ago via a conventional loan where the seller paid two thousand dollars of the buyer's costs there were no unusual sale conditions this property was on a two-story colonial design with 2089 square feet four bedrooms two and a half baths a two-car garage deck and a fireplace and lastly, Comp 7 is 591 Apollo Lane, was located in a private community with a golf course view that had 
gated street access. It was situated 11 blocks from the subject in a different market. Sale price was $315,000 in the cash in the cash transaction with no financing involved. Three months ago, no atypical sale conditions were reported. The four bedroom, three and a half bath, two story contemporary dwelling had 2,457 square feet and featured a three car garage, a patio, and three fireplaces. Page 57. Other than the information given, the lot sizes and site utility are considered to be similar. Actual age, quality, and condition are similar, as is appeal. Using the data array grids provided, organize the data and determine what data appears relevant and what data that should be discarded. Possible comparable data from the subject subdivision. Um, going down the sale price. Uh, comp 1, 279, 400. Comp 2, 310,000. Comp 3, 265,000. Comp 4, 266,900. Date of sale. Comp 1, seven weeks ago. Comp 2, one month ago. Comp 3, nine months ago. Comp 4, five months ago. Location. Our subjects on a through street and in a subdivision comp one is three blocks away comp two was two blocks away on a cul-de-sac comp three was one block away comp four something i can't remember what i wrote right there two blocks away cul-de-sac sale terms mortgage refinance cash equivalent for our subject comp one was no seller concessions Comp two was conventional financing. Comp three, seller financing, seller paid, buyer's costs. And comp four, conventional financing with no seller concessions. Sale conditions. Our subjects, sale conditions are typical. Comp one was typical, conventional loan. Comp two, no atypical sale condition, sellers uh paid three thousand dollars of closing costs it was a conventional comp three some furnishings included and comp four was typical sale uh style slash design uh subject is a two-story colonial style Comp one, similar two-story colonial. Comp two, two-story colonial. Comp three was a one and a half story Cape Cod design. And comp four was a one and a half story Cape Cod. Uh, GLA, our subject is 2,169 square feet. Comp one is 2,248 square feet. Comp two is 2,356 square feet. Comp three, is 1,879 square feet and comp four was 2,038 square feet. Bedrooms and baths, our subject has four bedrooms, two and a half baths. Comp one was four bedrooms, three baths. Comp two, I can't really read that. Five bedrooms, four baths, four baths and one half bath. Uh, comp three, three bedrooms, two and a half baths. And comp four was four bedrooms, two and a half baths. So that one was identical to the subject. Other features. Uh, subject has a two-car garage, patio, and a fireplace. Comp one had a two-car garage, a deck, and a fireplace. That's pretty similar. Comp two had an in-ground pool, three-car garage, a deck, and two fireplaces. Um, comp three had a two-car garage and a patio. And comp four had a one car garage and a deck. Possible comparable data from outside the subject's subdivision. Sale price comp five went for 269,000. Comp six, 271,500. Comp seven, 315,000. Date of sale comp five was two weeks ago. Comp six was one week ago. 
and comp seven was three months ago location subjects on a, a through street and a subdivision comp five is on a through street 12 blocks from the subject different market comp six is on a through street five blocks from the subject and comp seven is in a private community 11 blocks away sale terms uh mortgage refi for the subject comp one was a conventional loan was atypical or whatever comp five that was comp, now comp six is conventional loan comp seven is no atypical sale conditions uh sale conditions our subject is cash equivalent typical sale conditions comp five is no seller financing concessions comp six seller paid two thousand dollar buyer's cost closing costs comp seven was cash transaction no financing style slash design uh subject is a two-story colonial style on a through street comp five is a two-story colonial comp six is a two-story colonial and comp seven is a two-story contemporary dwelling gla our subject is 2169 square feet comp 5 is 2112 square feet comp 6 is 2089 square feet and comp 7 is 2457 square feet bedrooms and baths our subject has four bedrooms two and a half baths comp 5 has four bedrooms three baths comp 6 has four bedrooms two and a half baths comp 7 four bedrooms three and a half baths other features, our subject has a, is a two-car garage, a patio, and a fireplace. Comp 5 has two-car garage, deck, and a fireplace. Comp 6 has a two-car garage, deck, and a fireplace. And Comp 7 has a three-car garage, patio, and three fireplaces. Damn, all right. Extra notes. Condos. Stateofnewmexico.com. Legislature. Bills of 2013. A bunch of additions. Requirements. And... Uh, Extra no adjust for a half bath. Uh, seller concessions. Something are tricky adjustments. 